We took a last minute trip to the largest castle in the world. I'll be sharing our experience as well as the total amount we spent. Stay tuned. <music> The train takes about 40 minutes from Gdansk to Malbok and then about 10 minutes walk from Malbok train station to the castle. The prices of the train tickets would vary depending on your status. For students it is 19 zloty, and for adults it is 29 zloty, which I think is quite fair. We booked the castle's entrance tickets for 50 zloty, and that is the student's price. The regular price is 70 zloty. You can either go for a tour guide or you choose the audio guide. We opted for the audio guide because it allows us to go at our pace. thing about the audio guide is that it tells you the history of every room you go into as it tracks you using the GPS and you can also do a rewind in case you want to listen again which is so good. This was the first of many entrances. To be honest I totally lost count of how many of them we came across. That is to show you how huge this place is. According to the audio guide, the castle was built in the 13th century by the Teutonic Knight and encompasses 52 acres of land. Wow! A significant portion of the castle was destroyed during the Second World War, as you can see in this photo, but it has since been beautifully rebuilt. Fun fact, you know the way castles are usually captured during war? This particular one was never captured. It was sold by the Teutonic Knight to a Polish king known as the Grand Master, after which the castle was transformed to a Polish royal residence. Back in the day, this particular gate was used to capture intruders, which then allows the soldiers rain down like arrows or bullets in an attempt to kill the intruders. Honestly, I felt quite terrified walking through these walls.
this next room was kind of like the highlight for me because it is the grandmaster's private room and he's the only one in the castle that actually had a private toilet allocated to him so let's take a look at the grandmaster's private toilet <laughs> This is where the knights prepped for their greatest campaign ever, which is hunger. Just imagine the giant feast they must have held here. This made my stomach rumble and we headed straight to the restaurant. <laughs> The food at this restaurant was actually quite affordable. In fact, it was very affordable because we spent around 200 swati and this was for the four of us. We ordered for a huge bowl of food that had varieties and was very delish. I then ordered for pivo because what is a Polish outing without pivo?
Thank you. 